Hello and welcome. Today I'm showing you how to make my famous breakfast croissant. It's actually Sunday and I just noticed we have no bread in the house. So that's an excuse for me to make some. I don't really want to go to the store. It's an easy recipe. It takes about an hour. I have all ingredients um, in the house, so that's awesome. And actually, I want something easy like that. I want something easy, simple, delicious. I want something that could be possibly savory if I want or sweet if I want. So so that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, we're going to start with four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm using uh, organic. We need to sift our flour once or twice. We need two um, Eastern, um, instant yeast sachets. We need one teaspoon of sugar. I'm using brown sugar. And two teaspoons of salt. So that's our dry ingredient right there. Entire process, like I said, should take about an hour from start to finish. And this recipe will produce 15 wonderful croissants. You can actually double your recipe if you want, but uh, 15 will do for us for now. So I'm using my trusted wonderful mixer. And I'm going to mix all ingredients together for about 10 minutes. So we started with dry ingredients. Now we'll proceed with wet. We need one glass of milk. We want to make sure that milk is warm. We do not want anything hot. All the liquid should be warm temperature. Same goes for water. So we have milk. We have water all nice and warm. And we'll mix it for about 10 minutes. It's just such a relaxing Sunday for us. It's just, it's wonderful. And it smells so great already. We also need some melted butter. I'm using organic unsalted butter. Yep. I mentioned it's Sunday. It's it's a lazy, lazy Sunday in the house. So I might as well get productive and create some wonderful you know, croissant for us. They go fast, so I I make that recipe a lot when I'm off, um, after work, when I'm trying to decompress, relax, and unwind, this will do. Just simple, simple recipe. And actually, I simplified that recipe um, a couple months ago, so it's, it's even easier than it was before. So at this point, our dough is ready. We don't need any more flour. Our dough is soft, it smells great, it's just, just mouth-watering, really. So we're going to work our dough for one more minute, and then we'll divide our dough in half. And you know what? I love this dough because it's so easy to work with. It's just It just works with you. It's just wonderful. Like I said, it's 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 so much fun. It's just relaxing. Just have fun while baking. So, um, like I said before, we will divide in half, and then we will form um, circles. So we need we'll end up with two big circles, not thick, not thin, just pretty much in the middle. And I will divide each circle into eight separate pieces. Of course, you can form less circles if you want less croissant. You can, you know, form more circles or less. Just basically depends how many croissants you want to end up with. But in this instance, I'm just two separate circles, each divided in eight pieces. And that works for us for now. And now we'll just form our croissant um, on our parchment paper. You guys know how much I love my parchment. So when done, place each and every one of them on parchment. Mmm, smells so good. It just, it's wonderful. And I'm just showing a play croissant. You can definitely get creative. 
and you know just just go crazy with it. you can put something in you can you can you know just just really combine some seeds or some flavoring in a dough i'm just using how to create that beautiful base and just go with the flow just just go with your vision but at times i kind of like the simple 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 croissant now we will definitely do a little egg wash so we need one egg and we need some butter i'm using my trusted uh, kitchen uh, brush and it's just so much easier to um so just you know create that beautiful coating on our croissant and you know just be generous we want the color we want that beautiful look we want that smell And I like to utilize my my seeds. Uh, and in this instance, I'm using poppy seeds. You can definitely go with sesame seeds. It's up to you. You can lift that out if you don't want that. You can go with something else. You can do something savory. You can do something sweet. I'm using poppy seeds and sesame seeds. We just want some texture. We want some color. We want some interest. And I will bake it at 360 degrees for about 20 minutes. And it's time to wait. So as you see yourself, it's a, it's a quick recipe. And I just love to watch my croissants. You know, it just like, it gets me excited. It's just so, it just, it's a, it's a uh, wonderful, wonderful situation when something that you create turns out to be, to be wonderful and great. And so, you know, just successful. And people appreciate it and you know my croissants are gone in one day pretty much so thank you guys for watching um, I'm so thankful for all of you um, please subscribe to my channel please leave me your comments I always greatly appreciate it um, I just hope you have a wonderful wonderful day or night and please um, subscribe to my channel take care guys